Final Cut Pro is a fantastic editing program, but sometimes it can run slow. I mean, like, really, really, really slow. So in this video, I want to share seven things you can do, really easy things you can do, to speed up Final Cut and edit faster. The first thing is turn off background rendering. So how to do this is you go into your Final Cut preferences and then you go to playback and you'll notice right there the first thing says rendering. By default it's usually turned on you want to click that off. Here's the reason especially with the new Macs the M1s even the M2s you don't need that and that will slow down your editing so turn that sucker off. Create one library per project. I found this out the hard way when I was working with a friend who was also a client producing her online courses. So I had one library and we had all of her online courses in there. And these things were long and big files. And so over time, Final Cut Pro just slowed down. So now what I do is anytime I'm doing a project like this video here, it will have its own library. Now I do keep a master folder of YouTube videos, but every video that I do has its own library and that alone will help speed up Final Cut. Open only one library at a time. It's the same rule. The more you have open, the more you're asking Final Cut Pro to work harder. Just open one at a time, regardless of how much stuff you have in there. And that way you're only focused on that project, which kind of helps your focus, but also you're not having so many libraries open that Final Final Cut Pro has to work harder and harder. Now, if you do need to open another library just to grab something out of it, open it, drag over that, that file or whatever you need, and then close it and you'll be good to go. Close everything you don't need. Final Cut Pro uses a lot of RAM. It needs a lot of power. You don't want to have a lot of things going. You don't want to have like Google open and checking Facebook and all these other applications. So what I do is I get everything I need and I close everything down so that way my computer, and I'm on a Mac Mini M1, that way my computer is giving Final Cut Pro full power, everything it needs, and then if if I need to open something like, say, Upbeat to get my music, I open it, I grab my music, I dump it in, and I completely shut that down. So again, I'm staying in Final Cut Pro only when I'm editing. Select your media files before you import. This will save you even time in the edit because you're not just dumping everything in and then trying to sort through and nothing has names and stuff like that. It, it'll take a little longer, especially if you're new to editing. If you take the time before you even start editing to go through your files, pick your good takes and your, your bad takes and, and the music you want and your stock footage and whatever, and just import just what you need and that alone gives Final Cut Pro a little bit more oomph when you're editing and you're just using what you need to edit your project. Use Clean My Mac. Now Clean My Mac is a subscription based program. You download it to your computer. I have it on my Mac Mini. I have it on my MacBook Pro. I've used it for a long time and it does a ton. I mean there's virus protection. It goes in there and, and looks for malware. Uh, it, it, it optimizes your Mac to run faster. You can get rid of unwanted programs in like one button. But the thing I use all the time is I, I boost the RAM. It's really easy to do. It's called free up RAM or something like that. When you click it, you'll immediately see that it does its thing in the background and it gives your, your computer more RAM. So if you're interested in Clean My Mac, I put a link down in the description. Again, I use it all the time. Use proxy media. This comes in really handy if you're editing something that has a ton of footage or maybe even larger files. This is a little trick you can do. I learned it when I was working with a company. We were doing another online course and there was so much involved that what I did is I created proxy media when I brought the files in. It's very easy to do. When you're importing the video, you want to come down to transcode. You have two options. You have you can create optimized media, but this time we want to create proxy media. And when you click it, you'll have a couple of options. I just choose uh, H.264 and then you can even do the frame size. Now again, this is really just for playback. It's not going to hurt your, your, uh, your export. And then you just hit import all and you'll be good to go. Now if you want to see what it looks like, 
go to view it's right above your edit window click on that final cut pro automatically by default you'll get optimized original just change it to proxy only and you'll see exactly what it looks like but if you want to color grade or anything like that make sure you keep it on optimized original and when you're done editing and you're ready to export you go up to file go down to delete generated clip files and I would go ahead and click both of these even if you don't have optimized media click delete proxy media hit OK and what happens is it's going to delete all the things you don't need and only export out the highest resolution video. I can almost guarantee you that if you just do one of those things, you're going to see a major difference when you're editing in Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for watching this. Remember to keep creating because the world needs you. See you next time.